Brian Blakely, do you want to defend your, your finish there, Brian? Yes, I finished number one on the initial round uh, with three other people. So there was a putt off. Okay. And then I got last in the putt off. So uh -huh. you could say that I finished last out of the putt off. Well, like out of 25 like people, though. Number one oh, in our hearts. Be nice. Though. All right. Kunkel. You did well. <laughs> you didn't win. Yes. All right. Yes. Two minutes on the clock. Gabe, you're up first. James Booknight says he wants to stay in Charlotte, but will he? I honestly believe so. There's, I mean, he had a few flashes towards the end of last season. I think, obviously, you know, there's a lot of guys coming off of injuries, but I think, you know, just with what he was able to show towards the end, I think there is a small chance that he sticks around on the roster. All right, Brian, we already talked about the putting contest. You did not win, but who will win the championship at Wells Fargo? Uh, I'm going to go with my man, Max Holm. I really like his game, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a good tournament out of him. That's my guy. All right, well, NFL released their – they're going to release their schedule on Thursday. How many primetime games for the Panthers? I think it's been three, four years since they've had two primetime games, maybe more than that. I think they probably get one, but I, if they get two, it's because they have the number one overall pick in Bryce Young, so there's going to be some intrigue down there, and they might get one flex to Lake and get a few thousand to the And a new staff, maybe. Yeah, I don't know that Frank Bryce is going to get the <laughs> play Okay. All right, Gabe. Brendan Poole says someone needs to kick Ross Chastain's butt. Are you okay <laughs> with Chastain's driving as of late? Hey, after seeing a day, I think uh, my guy is right. I mean, just, I mean, what, what are we doing out there? I mean, I know it's kind of the nature of the sport, but I mean, somebody needs to maybe sit him down, give him a nice little talking to. Maybe we might need to throw hands. I think they tried that. I don't know if that, that's worse. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes in that kind of sport, it's like, all right, but maybe somebody might throw some hands. Ross, I love it. Do you, brother. <laughs> Do you. All right, Brian, we always talk about who won the draft, but who lost this year's NFL draft? I think a big, a big head scratcher would be the Patriots taking a punter and a kicker in the draft. I mean, that hadn't happened since 2000 with the Raiders when they took Shane Leckler and then Sebastian Janikowski, Seabass. So uh, that's a little bit of a head scratcher there. I agree. Well, if Matt Corral is still in Carolina before rookie minicamp, how much is he going to ask from Bryce Williams to get his draft? Bryce Young. Um, or Bryce Young. 10 grand? Um, I got. I mean, Bryce just signed all the money, like twenty plus million dollars signing bonus. So you got to get at least ten grand for that number. He could ask as much as he wanted, really. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Start high. 